What's up everyone? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. Today's video we're going to do an update on the 40 gallon shallow reef. It's been just over a month since we added the lights and the frags to this tank. So I figured it'd be a good time to give you guys an update, talk about the things that I like and dislike about the setup, and talk about some of the issues I've had with the Millipora in this tank and the clownfish. So um, we'll look at the 300 before we end the video, as long as I don't forget or get distracted with something else. Uh, so when it comes to the uh, Aquascape, I will say that I like the way it looks naked, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, even though it has a few frags on it here and there, and it's not completely filled in. I like the way it looks compared to what the 300 was with the four pillars. I definitely like how it's spread out and it's got the caves and just the way it flows. That right there, I really like. But I do see potential issues with how coral's going to grow and how it's going to grow into each other. I mean, you can see all these colonies or these frags are eventually going to grow into each other. There's nothing you can do about that. Um, I, I don't know if it's gonna be to the extent of the 300 because everything's focused at the top of the rock structure for that tank and everything is kind of reaching for the light. So. I don't know, we'll see how it fills in and how the tank um, reacts to uh, the four lights that I have over top, which are those HD primes, and kind of how the growth is. So we'll see over time how it, uh, how it plays out. But as is with it just being kind of bare bones, naked, not much on it, I really, really like the way it looks. Now when it comes to the growth, I mean, most of these frags went in at half an inch or less. Uh, some of them, for exception, or for example, uh, we got uh, this milli here, I mean not this milli, the staghorn here was a little bit bigger when it went in, and some of these milli colonies were, or frags were just a little bit bigger, but not much. So the growth itself over the last month is pretty darn good. A lot of this stuff, or 99% of them, are encrusted onto the rock and doing really, really, really well. Now I did add some miscellaneous frags uh, a couple days ago, like I added a little bit of the red Monty over here, which is dirty, so I had some red Monty, so that's not encrusted yet. The green Monty, not encrusted on the back there and then some green digi over here which is not going to be encrusted yet but uh other than that everything else is attached to the rock and doing pretty well now i have had to remove a couple millipora uh, frags because as I, if you guys are following me on social media i mentioned that they were dying because of a clownfish more specifically the white clownfish which was originally in the 30 gallon anemone tank was there its whole life then went over to the frag system and kind of did her thing in there now she's in this tank the problem is that she likes to host anything with movement. Uh, when she was in the frag tank, she would host Duncan's, um, I mean, pulsing Xenia, uh, everything. I mean, everything that had any kind of movement, she would host it. Now, when she's in here, the only thing that really has movement is the uh, polyps on the milliporas. So she's obviously going to um, host them. Now, it's there's, there's a difference between, or a fine line between hosting and just being next to it and then getting in between and really causing damage to the coral, eventually killing it. And she's been doing exactly that. There's two different um, frags that I had to replace. You can see the glue on this guy here. Um, I had a whole nice chunk of that right there just kind of sticking out that she completely killed hosting it. Now I didn't really realize it uh, in the beginning. I just thought, hey, it was stressed out. The polyps aren't out. So maybe there's just something going on with the flow or something might just be irritating it. Maybe a emerald crab or a hermit crab. Didn't really think it was the fish. But then I went over to the 300 and all the polyp extension was out on the frags. They were doing really well. I mean, this is that colony right there. Um, and the polyp extension was out and everything was happy. And so I was like, okay, well then it must be something in the tank that is actively pissing off and killing this coral. So what I usually do, and I've talked about this before, is if I'm having an issue with a coral or something in the tank, I usually come back at night, one, two o'clock in the morning and look at the tank because that really gives you a good idea of maybe a pest or an emer or rogue emerald crab or even a rogue fish doing damage to your tank. And sure enough, came down here and she was balls deep in one of those acro uh, frags, just you know flapping her little tail around, really beating the crap out of it. And sure enough, it died over the next couple days. So <sighs> it sucks. And I've never had this problem before. I never had a fish actively host an, uh, an acropora and kill it. So this is a new experience for me. You can see how aggressive she gets, even with a staghorn. And if any fish comes near the staghorn, she chases it off. So I'm going to have to relocate her. The problem is not easy to catch. Of course, there's sticks in this tank. Um, so I got to try to get her out early. I'm going to put a trap or something in there, try to get her out, put her in uh, the frag tank um, or put her back in the um, imported frag system just because I don't want to get rid of her because eventually I am going to set up an anemone tank and um, I'm going to have her in there doing her own thing because that's what she obviously likes. So, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed on the acro frag that died, but I'm glad I caught it early and now I just got to actively 
get in there and try to get her out so she'll stop doing that now there is another clownfish in the overflow i don't know how the heck he got in there it's hard to see without the light being on but jumped into the overflow i don't know i just don't know i don't know if we can even see her probably not anyways there is a clownfish in there and it's probably because there's just too much aggression between the one two that i have there was three and uh yeah so other than that the two tangs are doing pretty good the yellow tang and the scopus tang um in and out of the rock work no aggression maybe a little bit earlier on with the scopus but they're roughly the same size and um there seems to be plenty of hiding spaces and they're not really attacking each other it's just kind of the clownfish and the clownfish so yeah other than that really like the tank can't wait for it to grow in i want it to grow really quickly and i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place i want it to grow out grow out so see kind of how it's going to look how beautiful it's going to be but i also want it to grow out so i can frag it and i can start making money um the problem i'm having and i might as well move over to the 300 now uh frag system but um the problem I'm having is the tank, I can't frag it quick enough without causing too much, I guess, uh, damage to the tank, too much in the fluctuation when it comes to alkalinity. Um, the problem is, is that there's so much coral that is about to touch each other, I can't get in there and cut everything at one time. And, uh, and if I do go in there and say cut the 50 or 60 frags, it causes an issue with the drop in alkalinity. And between all three of these tanks and stuff is always healing and always growing, I can't have those fluctuations in alkalinity. It just causes too much stress on the main display. I, I will say that earlier on for the first, I would say maybe year of this tank when it was just kind of growing out, um, it, it, didn't really, it wasn't really as sensitive as it is now. Uh, the fluctuations, it just doesn't tolerate them like it used to, which is kind of strange given the colonies have gotten bigger. Maybe it's because they've gotten so big that they're all touching each other and that stress on top of any kind of fluctuations is what's is what's actually causing colonies to die. So, um, and speaking of that, I think we're gonna be doing a video next week on this green stag colony. I gotta have to pull the whole thing out. I thought it would recover, but no, it's, I mean, it's getting hit by everything and the STN is just taking over the whole colony. So probably have to do one on taking the rest of that out, fragging it and hopefully save as much of it as I can. That way, uh, maybe I'll put a piece back in like we did with the, um, with the Cali Tor, we put a piece back in after we moved that whole colony. Uh, maybe we'll do that depending on uh, how the growth is. But right now, uh, the purple acre on the top is just dominating the light for everything underneath. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I got to make that video. Not something I really want to do, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of it's kind of the issues that we have with uh, a good, fast-growing reef tank. Um, Definitely appreciate the, all the support that we had on the coral sales. I wanted to mention that real quick. I did the 20 pack for 300. You guys sold out on that. Uh, there's no more of those available, and they won't they won't be available for a while. Um, there's just no coral left. Um, I have three or two or three frags on my imported system. I got an order coming in tomorrow, and then you know there's nothing left. So it's just it's going to take time to get stuff cut up and healed. So uh, other than that, that is pretty much the update for this 40 gallon. I know I started going off and talking about 300 stuff. I try to avoid that, but uh, yeah tank is doing great love it not going to add any more fish we'll be adding more more uh, acro frags here in the future just got to get them through quarantine and uh, you guys will see all that that whole setup later on but other than that i uh, like it i wish it was bigger i wish it was 120 or maybe another 300 gallon display um still still trying to figure out if i want to add another display to the tank i'm kind of up in the air about that so that'll be another video and we'll talk about it later mm -hmm. so other than that i appreciate the support and i will see you guys later all right peace